Morning, folks. Well, I should be working on an EP um, now. However, um, the local charity shop just down the road had a kalimba for sale, so I had to go out and buy it. Um, you've, you've almost certainly seen these before. Um, I don't think this is a particularly good one. This is probably something that was bought at a, at a tourist bazaar in Morocco, southern Spain, um, and has made its way into a charity shop. But, you know, pleasant enough sounding. However, the observant amongst you will have noticed I have a big old pedal in front of me. So the, well, one of the fun ways of playing these things, get a contact mic, um, which, I'm, which I'm holding on with my thumb because the, the sticky the stickiness is, a, is, 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 is has gone a bit. Partly because I've just ripped it off my old liar. Um, that's going into my modular rig. Boop, boop, boop. I have, what is that thing? What are you even looking at there? Oh, I think it's my monitor. Um, yeah, there's an envelope follower here. The envelope follower just goes all the way to the mixer and then the mixer goes into the Strymon. This is the Strymon Night Sky. This is my biggest, most expensivest pedal ever. Um, this is a reverb pedal, but like a super duper bonkers reverb pedal. This sounds quite nice. When I first was setting this up, I had the gain on the envelope follower right up and it nearly blew my ears off. So what the envelope follower is gonna do, you can hear that already, can't you? You can hear my voice. What the envelope follower will do is just give you a bit of gain coming out of the contact mic. It's one of my favorite ways of using my little modular rig. Yeah, the mic picks up everything. Let's take the delay away for the time being. Sounds, sounds cool, doesn't it? Um, not tuned it, but you, you, can, you can tune the tines on these things. of tape delay. Ooh. Bypassed. Well, it's a bit noisy, isn't it? Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, now we've got the, the output of the envelope follower going into the SM filter, DOF SM filter. Uh, we're controlling the um, CV, well, yeah, the, the frequency from an LFO. Um, so, yeah, let's get a filter involved. Why not? Can we hear the LFO going? Mm -hmm. 
this this SEM filter, SEM filter, really attenuates the sound nicely. Or overdrives it. Or, you know, lovely. High pass? High pass filter takes some of my sort of hand noise away. I can, I can, you can hear the LFO now, I think. Turn it slower, LFO. Let's bring the delay back. With the LFO at its slowest setting, it's sort of, you know, sort of attenuating some of the notes to give you a nice bit of vari var variation. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. All right, that's a bit of fun for a Saturday morning. What I might do is I might record some single notes um, from the biggest time going through the Strymon and then make up a sample instrument. That'll be a bit of fun for my Saturday night, won't it? Um, I'll either do that or go to the pub. Let's let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. All right. Ta-da, 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 ta-da.